Hello everyone, welcome to ProMine's Archive Tips and Tricks. This week I'll be going over a useful tool for exporting uh, certain block attributes to a text file. So I'll just insert some layers here from ProMine's Filer module. It'll be just a bunch of serving info. And let me just unlock these layers. Now, the command that we're going to be going over is called attribute uh, export. So if you type in attext, and it'll bring up this dialog box. Now, the template file is the file that you might need some help in creating. And the way that works is if you go to the help document here, um, you'll see all the information about how to create this template file. So if you go into the command um, here, there. So this is for setting up your attribute extraction template file. If you just follow these instructions, it's really easy. Basically, you'll be copying these uh, codes into your text file, and then the program will be able to identify where to place each piece of information when you select your blocks to export them. I'll be uploading uh, a sample template file onto our page with this blog post, and I'll also be posting a link to this help page in the description for this tip. So moving on, I'll just select my template file, which I've created here. And then after that, we will select our objects. And for this, we're going to be using this station and this station. And then the output file, we'll call it tip test. And go OK. And then if we go into, this is the file we just created. You'll see these are the two stations, 200-5, 200-6, with their coordinates. Uh, the, the, the information that gets extracted is based on the template file that we created earlier. So this is a useful tool when you're trying to just get the coordinates of a bunch of objects into a text file, and then you can convert it to a CSV if you're going to be using it with another program. Uh, that concludes this week's AutoCAD tips and tricks. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions for another topic, you can leave them to us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.